ওভারঅল ইনস্টলেশন আমরা যদি শিখতে পারি তাহলে এবং জানতে পারি বুঝতে পারি আমি আমার দেশের যে কোনো আন্ডার ওয়াটার ইকোসিস্টেমের জন্য কাজ করার সুযোগ পাবো তাহলে ওরাল কনজারভেশনের একটা অন্যতম জায়গা যেই জায়গাতে সারা বিশ্ব থেকেই অনেক এক্সপার্টরা এখানে এসে ট্রেনিং করে যায় যে তাদের দেশের যে ওরাল এবং ম্যারিন লাইফকে সুরক্ষিত করার জন্য So I'm going to call up um, and talk with uh, Mr. Spencer. Spencer, uh, I'm Atiku Rahman. I heard about uh, New Haven uh, when I, I get in uh, Kuru Thao. Uh, many uh, province divers told me, if you want to conservation about marine life, you go to New Haven. Yeah. You yeah. do field work maximum time. Absolutely. Yeah. So you talk about yes um, so conservation i mean i'm i'm really lucky myself uh, again we are the new heaven reef conservation program again so we're not just one person i work as a part of a larger team and when i first arrived here about 5 years ago now um, i arrived to a program that had already been running for about 6 years so the program had been already up and running uh, before i came to this program and at Chad Scott who was the program founder and he was largely the one who inspired me to give up my life and to dedicate it to trying to protect and preserve the, the marine ecosystems around the island of Kotao and in the entire island in general um, he was sort of the inspiration in many ways that uh it started this path for me i'd always been interested in pursuing a career in conservation biology but i didn't know exactly which ecosystem i wanted to put and focus my attention on it. Chad really showed me a way of, of, of approaching these ecosystems that changed my way of thinking about them and made me think that uh, the, the sort of hopeless picture that's painted for coral reef ecosystems isn't all as it appears to be. You know, it's actually a, an area where we can still uh, affect things for the, for the better. And uh, the more effort and focus and energy that we put into these ecosystems, generally, generally speaking, uh, the more we're rewarded in the way of, uh, again, bringing back these ecosystems again to a sort of a more stable um, and healthy state. So, yes. uh, what about uh, the uh, program, it's a part aid program, There's, uh, you have a nice uh, title uh, consultation program. Yes, yes. And uh, you have a rural uh, registration program. Of course. So, uh, it's, uh, how do you get the effort from the people and yeah. uh, all about the Or yes, and how are we involved in so many different, different areas of conservation? So marine conservation, just as a word, is very broad, right? Marine conservation can mean so many different things, right? I mean, it could mean uh, polluting less and using less single-use plastic. I mean, technically, that's a form of marine conservation. So with this program, the way that it's been structured is that, again, over the more than 10 years that we've been, we've been up in operation, we've slowed and building and adding different aspects to the work that we do here. So now we aren't just, again, a, a program that focuses entirely on serving the ecosystems. We're not a program that focuses just entirely on selling mooring lines. We're not, again, just a sea turtle head starting program. We're, again, a combination of different things. We're a culmination of a variety of different activities that you can engage in to get the benefit of these ecosystems. So again, oftentimes, depending on what time of year it is and what's appropriate in these ecosystems, we'll do a variety of different work. Um, Uh, based on, again, what, where we can be most effective. So, for example, if a lot of the mooring lines are getting ripped up by big yeah. boats and heavy waves, we know that that next week we're going to prioritize installing yeah. these mooring lines so that boats don't have to drop anchors on them. So again, if we're in cold conditions and our coral reefs are incredibly bioproductive, they're growing well and they're in a healthy state, we know to focus our energy on doing restoration work. Again, taking what coral fragments... Very nice. I have seen also uh, this yeah. really awesome. Very fantastic yeah. uh, and very helpful. Uh, one thing is uh, the marine conservation and scuba diving. Yeah. How important is scuba diving in this uh, subject? In, in marine conservation, it's very, very difficult to preserve and to even see what's going wrong in these ecosystems without scuba. I mean, the scuba actually hasn't been around that long as we know it. You know, the, the modern aqualung that we used to dive with was developed in the 1940s. say like the tools of uh, the conservation. Yeah, absolutely. Again, it is a tool of a marine conservationist. You know, if you really want to be effective um, as a marine conservationist, you need to have your head in the water, whether that's snorkeling or scuba diving. Scuba diving certainly does lend itself to doing this work more effectively. We're able to study these ecosystems much more in depth. Last question is uh, only 
for the new uh, university related subject yes from the all, all, all over the world and because I, I informed to our university student right because uh, on behalf of you uh, that is they uh, what is the role of the young students right so again one of one of the uh, biggest priorities of our project is to educate the next generation of marine conservationists right in so many ways uh, again they'll be the ones that are inheriting our planet you know and uh, of course if we aren't passing this information along to the next generation then the information dies with us again one of the most important parts about conservation activity is that of course you're practicing and you're uh, teaching as much as you're again engaging in the work itself so again by teaching and training up these students of ours that come to us to learn about marine conservation work. And really what we're doing is we're investing in our future through them. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually some of the most important work that we can do as a conservation community. Just working with others and again, getting other people, particularly the younger people, interested yes. in this kind of information. Uh, thank you very much. Not at all. It's, I think it was it's a, a pleasure. It's been a pleasure having you here. Really uh, appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for having me.